Okay, a very short how-to on how to check your valve bucket clearances on a 4B11T engine found in the Evo 10 and also the Mitsubishi Rally Art. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take off your rocker cover. Secondly, you're going to need a quality set of feeler gauges, which is what I have here. And the first thing you want to do is go online and find the factory clearance tolerances for your 4B11T. Um, I'm going to put them on screen now and uh, they should be visible now. So uh, you want to get your feeler gauge roughly to where um, the factory spec is because there's absolutely loads of them on there and you'll be checking forever. So the idea is you want to check the gap between the camshaft and the bucket underneath. Now obviously once the camshaft is actually pushing the spring out there's going to be no clearance. Um, so when the lobe is facing upwards like that, that's how you can actually measure the clearance and we want to make sure it's not too high or too low. Now the way we do that, very simple, I already know the clearance of the valve we're going to be doing and here you can see I've got three feeler gauges, 0.127 of a mil, 0.152 of a mil and 0.178 of a mil. Now the idea is we start on the thinnest one, so let's say 0 0.05 inches or 1.27 mil and we want to put it into the actual gap between the cam and also the bucket. Okay, so we're going to put 0 0.05 of an inch or 0.127 of a mil in first and we're going to measure the gap in between the bucket and the cam. So I slide that in and it goes straight through. So that tells me the gap is bigger than 0.127 mil. Now we're going to go up one size to 0.152 mil. We're going to do the same. Again, it went straight through with no problem. So we know that it's not a 0.152 mil gap. It must be slightly bigger than that for the feeler gauge to actually go through. Now we're going to go up one size again to 0 0.178 mil. And we're going to push that one through and it actually stops. So the gap is smaller than 0.178 mil. So what we can find from that is, if we go back to the 0.152 mil, the clearance is somewhere between 1.52 and 1.78. And that's how you check the clearance on your Evo 10 valve buckets. Now, I've done all of this car, if you're following the build, Steve or the Evo, check out the videos on the channel. But uh, I've done all of them and every single one has come back at 0.152 mil, which is absolutely spot on and within spec. That means basically two things. Whoever built this engine in the factory, they've done a good job because I've heard of people saying the valves, the buckets are miles out. Um, and it also means that Jun. When they made this camshaft, it's obviously very precise because all the clearances are in spec. I have heard of some camshafts, you can fit them and half of these buckets will be out of spec and half of them will be in spec. Well, that's not the case. So I can only assume whoever built the engine done a good job and the Jun camshafts are very accurate. Sometimes I personally find it much easier to watch someone and I can learn better like that. So if you have uh, learned from this video or found that beneficial, please uh, click the like button and also consider subscribing to see the build on Steve or the Evo. Cheers guys.